What's going on my dudes, One Step here. Today I'm showing you how to use Movado as a cameo in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you some tips and tricks on how to best use him, and of course, some fun and easy combos you can do with a ton of characters. Let's get into it. Movado's gonna be really great cameo. He's gonna provide awesome combo extension and great setups as well. First note I wanna talk about is he does take off 100 health of your character. So for example, Raiden is usually at 1,000 health. As you can see right there, we're at 900 health. So there is a drawback to using Movado. So after this video, you gotta decide is his kit worth using because of that drawback? Like, do you want that? Do you want his kit and take away 100 health? Yeah, it's kind of up to you. First, let's go ahead and talk about his combo extension. We have forward cameo and up cameo and down cameo. Now, the reason why I say those and not show you is because those moves have to be used inside of a combo, meaning your opponent already has to be in juggle state. Like right now, I'm pushing forward cameo, nothing's happening. But if I juggle my opponent and forward cameo, there it is. And the thing about his down cameo, it's actually the opposite. It can only be used while your foe is knocked down, being thrown, or laying prone. Like if they're doing a delayed get up. So if we knock down our opponent down cameo, that move I found to be more like an extra kind of like poke. Just to really do that little extra bit of damage you might need to maybe win the game, get some bars, something like that. It's more just like a haha, more damage, gotcha. Now the forward cameo and the up cameo are going to be used for combo extension. As you saw earlier, we can do forward cameo like this. And the reason why that one is so good compared to our up cameo, because here's how our up cameo looks. The reason why you might want to use forward cameo instead is as you saw, Movado comes from the other side of the screen. So there are a lot of moves that really push your opponent further away that you can't combo from because it's just such strong pushback. Like a lot of characters standing four, it's really hard to combo from that. But if we do Movado's forward cameo, he'll push the opponent back towards us, allowing us to continue the combo. If you don't need the pushback towards you with a forward cameo, you can always do up cameo. You get an extra bounce and continue the combo that way. Both of these moves can be used inside of a juggle state, so they can be used after a lot of moves that don't usually let you combo. Like for an example, Raid and Storm Cell, we can use Vivaro after that. Plus you can also use it after Liu Kang's back forward three move. Right there, when our opponent's falling down, we can use Movado to continue the combo like this. So it just turns a move that's not normally combo into a comboable move. So with that being said, I'd recommend testing around with your main character and seeing, you know, where where can I put Movado? Where can I do forward cameo? Where can I do up cameo? What moves can I use Movado after to help continue my combo and get that extra damage in? A lot of moves that put your opponent in the air like that, you could actually use Movado afterwards. So again, I'd recommend just doing some testing with your main character. And we're not even done with Movado. He's got a couple more moves. So as you can see, he's great for combo extension, great for a little bit of pokes in the low part. But what else can he do? Our back cameo is awesome. It actually pulls our opponent all the way towards us, knocks us both together. Now you'll see it actually does 20 damage to ourselves and 80 damage to our opponent. So, so as you can see, we're in a real match right here. So if you're below that 20 health mark and your opponent's below that 80 health mark and you use Mavadio's back cameo move, it will actually create a tie game like this. Boom, tie game, match extended. And that can really be in your favor because you're both set back to 270 health. So where you were below health at first, now you're even on health. So essentially, you gain the health. Not only can you use that to create tie games, you can also use it to close in that distance when your opponent's, let's say, trying to zone you out. If our opponent's trying to zone us out, you know, I'm like, oh, I can't do anything. Back cam, you Movado, bring us close together. Boom, I get up first, the pressure's now mine. And you can use it in combos as well. So that move has a ton of utility and a ton of different uses, and you can use it in multiple different situations. So as you can see right now, we have down cameo, forward cameo, back cameo, up cameo, but we have another forward cameo move. But this one can only be used after a flawless block. First, let me show you how it looks, then we'll go over it. As you can see right there, after we perform the flawless block, even if your opponent hits you multiple times after that, you essentially store this kind of a uh, breaker, if you will. Because as soon as your opponent is done hitting you, you're basically done out of block stun. You can do forward cameo. This move will actually use two super meter bars and a half your full cameo bar. So it de technically does use three full bars, kind of like a normal breaker would. But as you saw, it just gets our opponent off of us, kind of acting like a breaker. So if you hit that flawless block, as soon as you're out of block done whether it be one hit or five hits you can then get your opponent off of you and it's great for situations like going up against raiden storm cell like this 
as you can see, we were able to do that even after flawless blocking and blocking four more hits after that. If you had the resources and you're not in an actual combo to use your normal breaker, Lovato gives you kind of a second breaker to use. So it is a bit situational and a bit tight to actually get down, but if you can master that, it's gonna be so clutch. Not only do we have down cameo, back cameo, two forward cameo moves and an up cameo, but Movado also has a neutral cameo move and it's one of my favorites. Movado comes out and sets a trap for your opponent and if they get hit, they are super stunned allowing you for a combo. Now, keep in mind that does use your entire cameo bar, but it is amazing. Obviously you can set it down for pressure and then go for the combo itself, yes. But you can also do it after knockdown. So you knock down your opponent, throw out this cameo trap. Now your opponent's like scared to approach you. They're scared to back up. It just keeps you as the aggressor and gives you that pressure back. Not only that, but that move, that trap move from Avado gives every character some form of grab combo. Cause you can throw it out there, grab your opponent and then get a combo. Basically creating an unblockable combo setup, unless they're really good at timing, of course, and they block the trap and then they escape your throw. But man, it's really hard. And any character can do that. You can just throw out the cameo move, grab your opponent, then go for the combo. Some characters you can actually do that inside of the throw like this. So Movado gives you a grab combo. He gives you more pokes after knockdowns. He gives you awesome combo extension. He can create tie games and it gives you kind of a form of a second breaker. Dude, Movado is crazy. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of Movado as a cameo in Mortal Kombat 1? Do you like him? Do you hate him? Is it gonna be your new cameo? Let me know all your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content and go ahead and click into these videos next for more guides, news, reactions, and more.